of the internet. My name's Buster Bootlace and welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to try out something new. Well, not new, but it's old, but you know how much I love the Tokyo Extreme Racer games? Well, I'd done a bit of digging and I could see that there was the Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift, but I could only find the American versions, which of course the PS2 being region locked, which I hate it when they do that. I couldn't play the Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift games on my European PS2, sadly. So I've done a bit of research and I found that they, the European version is called Kaido Racer. So I was really chuffed to find this. I couldn't find it anywhere. I ended up finding it uh, in, off eBay Espana. So I found it, it's in Spanish, but I've done a little bit of research, more research, and I found out that the serial number is the same for this game, the disc, it's the same as the Europe, the English release. So I thought, well, I'll try it. And you can see probably my trying to, my attempt of arty farty shots of the, the box, probably now. Now it's all in Spanish, but the game itself is, 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 is completely in English. So it's perfect, it's perfect. So I'm glad I found this, yes. And the component cable arrived the other day. So that means we get, I think, 480p instead of the crappy low resolution that this crappy cable gives. Sorry, sorry. So now we can try this, and this means we can plug this into our El Gato. Okay, I haven't got enough. Wait a minute. So we need, where is it? Perfect. So this means that we can use the El Gato uh, connection to go into our El Gato, the cat, but it means we can, if I can just, Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Perfect. There we go. So what happens? So it means that we can use, we can plug this into the PlayStation 2, and then we can use the component cables to be able to get a better resolution out of it. So that'd be really cool. So I have tried this game before, uh, Kaido Racer 2, but I wasn't very good at it. So I don't know how we're going to fare tonight, but it'll be fun. We can try it anyway. With all that said. Oh, now we play Kaido Racer. Now we play this game. Now you look at me play. PlayStation 2. Yes, now we play. There we go, we're in the game. I had to leave the intro because the intro is absolutely amazing. And I might get a hit for the, the, the song, but look, I, mean, I haven't monetized my videos anyway, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, I I'm still, like I said, still getting, getting uh, used to YouTube. So here we are, we're going to try out the conquest mode. And I've got to say, the component cable just brings it, brings it to life. It's still interlaced though. I think it's 720i, so it's not, 
progressive scan unfortunately but it still looks much better than with the composite cable because of the composite it looked really awful it just like it looked really uncomfortable and it sat on the screen really weird it was I don't know so I'm really happy that my cable has come so we can actually get a better resolution out of it brilliant so let's put the name in End. Yes, I think that name is okay. The Kaido circuit extends throughout Japan. High speed battles unfold as drivers enter all kinds of races, seeking to test themselves, striving for the top. Racers battle one another day after day. At dark, the dark side of the circuit emerges. Private world known only to racers, where survival of the fittest is the only rule. Gossip leads to rumors, and rumors grow into the stuff of legends. I don't know how long I can keep this uh, voice up. One such legendary racer once existed. He was called the Emotional King, a veritable god in the Kaido world. However, they say that he suddenly vanished after a race in Aso. Is it me or is it a similar story to Import Tuna Challenge? With the Emotional King gone from the Kaido Knight scene, two dominant figures emerged. Absolute Emperor and Miracle Summit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. That's fine. I then I never know what I'm doing, so it's fine. They came from the category races and were already legitimate races. These two are now rumored to be the best that Kaido has to offer. If anyone walks past my uh, apartment, they're going to think I'm really, really weird. Then a legendary Metropolitan team, Metropolitan, 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 Metropolitan team. The 13 Devils apparently took it upon themselves to stem from the flow of the Metropolitan races, crossing over into Kaido. So I had to speed up there, I was, wasn't going to be able to read it all. Oh, can anyone defeat the Absolute Emperor and something? What has become of the Emotional King? Well, I heard he was quite emotional. Has the Kaido circuit really been overrun by the 13 Devils? And where is the next legendary racer? Well, I'm hoping it's going to be us. Yeah, I'm not weird. I promise. If you can hear me, yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, I don't want to do that voice anymore. Welcome to Kaido World. Kaido World. Sorry, that was really bad. <laughs> First, no, I'm being serious. Okay, first. Let's buy your new ride. And by the way, I've turned the background music all the way down to just where it is. Just You can just about hear it. I don't know whether we'll get destroyed from YouTube or not. But is anyone going to find out? Fat Punk. Is that what you... What did you call me? <laughs> anyway, focus. Right, what we need to do... We need to get ourselves a car. So we're going to go into the shop. Um, and I think... What do I think? I don't know what I think. I'm, I'm actually wondering... Let's have a look at the new used car dealership. Buy car. What do we have to choose from? See, I don't understand this. This game is about drifting, yet there's front wheel drive cars. Oh, nice. What is that? A Honda City Turbo 2. Wow, that looks like fun. <laughs> Brilliant. Mazda 6. Is it me, or does the screen look a bit squished? I set it to 69, but it looks a bit weird. Toyota Levin, 1500. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nissan Primera. Primera. 20 valve. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be an awesome car to have? Right, what else have we got? The Levin. 1.6 GTZ. How much is that bad boy? It's front engined and it's front wheel drive. Hmm. We don't want that. No disrespect, but it's got to be rear wheel drive, hasn't it, really? Okay, that's another FF car. We don't want that. Although it does look pretty cool, though. <laughs> oh, we're back to that. Okay. I always love the the Toyota Starlet Glanzer V. Oh, if you've never if you've ever seen one of those, they are awesome. Little 1.3 turbocharged beasts of hatchback. Um, they look like the the you know the, the, the normal Starlet, but they've got a big air intake in the bonnet. I don't know if you've seen them, but they are awesome. There's those of videos on YouTube of them being sort of wound up and you know. 
pouring out way too much power than they should and just like upsetting bigger cars and stuff. It's just funny. Okay, right, what was used? Okay, let's just go and have a look at the new car, see if there's anything more interesting to look forward to. Oh, and it's real wheel drive. <laughs> I'm thinking we should get that and tune it up. Oh man, that'd be brilliant. Oh, the Starlet Glanzer. Oh, that's the one I was talking about. 1.3 turbocharged. That's the one I was talking about. Oh, I love those. They're really cool. But it's got to be rear-wheel drive, hasn't it? Let's be honest. It's got to be rear-wheel drive. Mazda AZ1. This is, oh, yeah. I think we're just going to go for I think we're going to have to do an MX-5. Great. Let's go for that one. As it fits. Because <laughs> why not? And I don't have to spend ages deciding what to put on there. Woo! Got your new ride. A... I know you probably want to hit the streets, but wait a sec. Kylo World is divided into day and night. During the day, you can either you can, sorry you can enter official races or take sponsor tests. Cars and parts can only be bought during the day. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Earn money in category races and enter the advanced races. And yes, okay, great, wonderful. Yep, I understand. Let's start with our sponsors because if we do the sponsors, then we should better earn better better money. I think that's what we should do first. So let's go do the, ah, oh, GT4. Oh man, I love those cars. Oh, woof. Okay, that's accelerate. What's, I don't know what buttons are. Oh, I mean, oh it's automatic. Okay. Oh, it's automatic, okay, fine. Automatic it is then. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we need to put it to manual. Oh God, no, 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 no. Damn it. Oh dear, there we go, that's fine. Oh, I like this. Man, this is a quite a cool game. I, I did try this before and I really, I failed. Very, oh, oh dear. I failed so badly at it. I just really struggled to, to play it. Um, what can I blame that on? Oh no! Damn it. Oh, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Whoa! It feels really weird using the uh, PS2 control. Oh, oh, wait, I've got to feel what a handbrake is. I think it's. Oh, I think I found it. I think it's the R R two. I think. Sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, that's definitely it. There we go. I just I'm just annoyed that it's in automatic. Oh no. Oh dear, no, that wasn't very good, was it? I will get better. I am terrible. I don't know why. I just can't play this game. Conclude. Success. Look. I really do not think that the sponsors would like that driving, if I'm honest. Great, so we might, we've got 50 grand, and great, let's go for yours. See if we can, I think that's what we need to start with. Oh yeah, it's an Integra. Okay, let's see how differently this feels, since it's front wheel drive. Oh, I've got to change it to manual again. Oh, come on. Whoa. Rumble strips? What's the point in that? Oh, oh handbrake, there we go. Whoa. Okay, that was bad. Oh dear. Oh, I need to try the outside view. Whoa! Wait, how do I change the view? There, whoa. That looks really squished. But it does look better overall compared to the composite cables. Cause it did look a bit ugly with the composite and, and with the component it actually fills the whole screen up so that is good great so now we've got two sponsors thank you and I think we'll go back I'm going to just check the the settings and see if I can make it look a bit less squished okay I'm back I just restarted the PlayStation 2 and I changed the setting from 16.9 to full just to see if yeah, I don't know, because the cars look really weird. They look too squished, so I've just changed that and see if that helps. Perfect. So I'm basically just in the S engine parts A, and the things, it's a bit weird, but you need to, ch these are different, uh, five different companies, and you need to get the mixture, uh, the, the mix of the companies just right. And if you do, you get what's called critical tune. If you get all three right, you get critical tune. If you get two out of three right, you get, I think, average tune. And if you only get one of them right, then you get basically the least amount of power. So I think... I think we need this AKP. Great, so we can. I think we need that is one of them. 
and good and then s engine part b i think it's this one we need now question is can we afford all three of them so if it tells us it tell us equip it yep moderate yes so that means we've got two of the three tuning parts correct now can we afford part c we probably can't i think we need the third part i think we need is the u and i oh we can Perfect. So does that mean we get critical? I think this is what we need. One way. Yes, critical. So that means we've got the most power possible out of the S engine parts. It's a little annoying that <laughs> that's what we have to do, but hey, it's it's uh it's what you gotta do. It is what it is. Okay, got ya. This is how we do it. Bolt on turbo. That depends how much it is. Oh we can't afford it. That's a shame. What about exhaust system? Muffler. How much? L. So that was 154, 155, 161, 167. Okay, let's just go for H level 2. Yep. Yep. Now do we get to choose it? Oh, we do. Okay. What one shall we go for? Okay. Weird budgie sounding noise. Um, I'm going to go for that one. There we go. Job done. Okay, we've got six grand left. Okay, so we've done the car as much as we can for this moment, and we've got 167 PSI. It's not quite brake horsepower. I can't remember the calculation. But we're only 995 kilos, so that is quite a good amount of weight. So let's go and see what we can do in the races. Hakoni, let's go there. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. It's like like jazz or something to like heavy death metal back to jazz again <laughs> well random go right oh you got Jim Carno as well you can do on this I forgot about that I've just got to master it because I really struggle with this game can I change it to manual gears I don't know how to do it oh here we go that's what it is ship assist ship assist what shift assist off is what I was trying to say right oh it sounds good Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So it's the shoulder buttons to change gear. And... Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop. Okay, right. Let's try again. Right, and handbrake. No, no, no. Okay, right. This is not good. Can I change it? Maybe if I change the view. Oh, my goodness. It still looks squished. Why does the car look squished? There we go. Oh, a little bit of a drift, but we've got no points for that. Okay, let's try again. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a slide. Like I said, I tried this game before and I was really crap at it. Oh, there we go. Come on. That's it. That's the way you... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I wasn't ready for that. I was too... Sh I wasn't ready to actually have managed a slide, so I was a bit, like, not expecting that at all. Let's try again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. Oh, you're joking. Oh, see, <laughs> see how points. Start again. Okay, just got to figure out how to stop the fish tailing. What are you doing? Okay, so you change brake, down a gear, handbrake. Oh, that didn't really do anything, did it? Oh, I think I think I've... Well, I didn't even touch it. Oh, my God, it's, it's hammering down with rain outside. Oh, I got distracted by the rain and I accidentally put shift assist. I think I'm starting to figure out how to actually drift on this game, but brake, down again. Oh, no, that was crap. <laughs> Let's try again. Oh. oh, I don't know what I've done, but I've done something right. <laughs> I've done something, I don't know where that came from. Okay, I'd done something right. Wasn't quite enough. Right, come on. This time. Come on, come on. We want to try and do this properly. Okay, we've got an action coming up. Oh. Don't lose it. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Oh, I didn't tell you. Oh, that screwed me up for that one then. 
Got some points though. Okay, why's the handbrake doesn't seem to be working? And Oh, understeer. Oh, we understeered then. How are we doing? Okay, we're halfway there. Oh, damn, we hit the... Why didn't I get any points for that second part? Okay, we still need some practice. We still need some practice. Course bar. Meter. Caution bar. Oh, it's there. Mission? It's under mission. I was... Ugh, I was just spent ages trying to find where to... Put it to manual automatically. Um, manual automatically. You know, to make it default to manual, and it's under mission. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's go. Oh, he, something went right then. Something went right then. Okay. So we need to keep working on that then. Okay. Let's try. I swear this car feels like it's got a mind of its own. Oh. See the headlights pop up. I keep pressing down too heavy. And again. I really want to. I really want to like enjoy this game and play, try and learn how to play it. Oh, that was an alright one. Oh, it's taking me ages to get used to. Oh no, that, no, no, no. Oh, wow, that was close. Can we handbrake on this one as well? Oh, come on. Oh no, I've messed it up there. No, oh. oh, we've actually done it. Oh, wow. I've been doing this for ages. Oh, that's taking me ages to do. Well, I'm going to be honest, that took me ages. It's just that uh, there's a knack to this. And the car physics feel just a little bit weird. I don't know whether it's just my PS2 controller's a bit off. I don't know, but it just feels a bit weird. Okay, right, we've done that. I'm not going to do that anymore. I've been doing that for ages. You can see, on the, look how much cash I've got. I started out with like 6,000. And now I've got 221. It probably goes to show how many times I've been doing it. Anyway, right. Okay, cool. So that's that. This is a new one. Hiroshima... Race, CA Cup, whatever that means. Shift assist off. Okay, let's see if we can do a bit better on this one. See if I hopefully don't have to do this one a billion times. Okay. So this one's like, is this downhill? Let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh, that was a bad start. It's downhill as well. Oh, oh. it's <laughs> just. It all wants to fishtail as soon as you come out of the drift. Right, let's try again. Oh, it wasn't going to give me the cue. Oh, here we go. That was kind of okay, I suppose. This didn't crash. Right. Oh, yeah, remember, oh, we shouldn't go too fast down here. Well, once this starts to go, Action. Yeah, do the job. Action. Oh, there we go. Whew, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Oh, we've just done it as well. Oh, nice. Not all over the place. Oh no! <laughs> we overdone that one. <laughs> That'd be alright. Oh, I'm trying to get it without much power. It's, it's kind of difficult to get it get it spinning up again. But we've done this one anyway, so that's good. A bit clumsy, but it got us some cash. Let me maybe look at seeing if we can get a turbo. Save up some money to get a bolt-on turbo charger. That'd be quite cool. Great. 
So are there any other drift events? Let's have a look. Oh, so you've got time attack and you've got like a score attack. So let's do the points one. Let's see how we fare with this. I imagine this being quite difficult. I remember trying this once a while back. Okay, so how are we going to see where, where do we need to go? Oops. Oh, we go right to the end. I've lost track where I'm going here. Right. Oh, I've got the wrong way. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know where I'm going. Wait, no. Oh, I'm totally lost now. Oh, no, this way? This way. Okay. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> I was lost. <laughs> I managed to do it. And I was driving around like I was lost. Oh, I hate that. I never know which way I will go. Great. Right, where do we go? Oh, all the way to the end. All the way to the end, and then we need to go, okay. So we need to go all the way to the end. Oh, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Which way? Now, which way? I'm lost. I'm lost again. Oh, I've gone the way. Where am I going? Wait, what way I've got to go? <laughs> I don't know which way I'm going. Okay, here. Oh, no, wrong way. Crap. Right. Oh, excuse me, number seven, by the way. Ah. Oh. So we've got to go purring like a kitten, right? To the end. So all the way to one. Right, and then left here, I think. Oh no. Can I just go wherever I want? I think it looks like I can just go wherever I want. <laughs> I always get a bit lost. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to call it call it there because I've been recording how long for? Oh, about like over an hour. So I'm going to have to edit that down into something reasonable. Oh, and this as well is 2006. That's interesting because Import Tuna Challenge is 2006. So this must be a late release in the PlayStation 2 life. So, anyway, this is um, inter an interesting game, and I hope um, hope you've enjoyed it. And I, I want to like uh, do a bit more of this and try and get better at it because I'm just so crap at it so far. Yes. So with all that said, thank you very much for watching. Whoever you are, whatever you are, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.